to Eric here. He has been busy. <laughs> yeah, and some good video coming into the weather office, too, Eric, of what's been happening all over the area. Yeah, a lot of hailstorms out there today and really dramatic stuff. I mean, this is New England. We get some hail, but usually not that much. This is in Wilbraham, which is just off to the east of Springfield. That is a lot of hail for this part of the country, just coating the backyard and splashing down in the pool as well. I guess it waters the gardens just the same as the rainfall, but it does knock some leaves down in the process. We've seen a lot of that hail across the area. Still on active radar tonight, and a lot of what's driving all of this is an upper-level system that's coming in from the west. And what that means is that even as we approach sunset, these won't die down right away. It's going to be a few hours still before we see them all weekend and start to dry out. So right now, we've got a thunderstorm that's booming through uh, Topsfield area, down through North Reading and Woburn, and right on down to the north side of Medford. This is all moving north and east, and Many towns have seen multiple rounds of rainfall and storms today. And now we're watching the next batch of strong storms from Wayland down through Hopkinton, Milford, and into Uxbridge. And this is moving its way toward Natick. And right now we see some of those darker shades, black and purple there. That's working its way over toward Natick, and that is the core of hail. So some pea-sized hail very likely with this storm. A lot of lightning as well. It's moving into Framingham, then back to the south and west in Milford. Some very heavy rain right in the middle of town. Holliston getting some downpours as well and over 495. And that extends down toward Uxbridge and crossing uh, uh, right in downtown area here. And Mendens, right over the drive-in there, talking about some heavy rainfall. And they do expect these to work their way toward Metro Boston this evening. So as we approach, especially 7 o'clock tonight, that's where some rain and lightning will be more likely in the city. We've been watching the clouds. Look at that picture over, over the Zakem Bridge, driving on 93. Shelf cloud there, ACH photo, sent that in on Twitter. This picture of the hail on the ground in Worcester. This was on St. Nicholas Ave and uh, several inches deep with the hail as that storm moved its way on through. Pretty impressive sight. And this one of the storms is viewed from Marlboro. Jimmy's sending that picture in. You can see that kind of colored shading there, that fuzzy area. That's all hail and rain falling down out of the middle of the storm. And, of course, the rainbows that follow. This double rainbow with the reflection to boot sent in from Spencer. Linda sending in that picture. Thank you very much for the images. And temperatures have been falling back into the 50s at times in the wake of these storms, mostly in the 60s and 70s right now. And we're watching still some more activity to the west. That disturbance I talked about is swinging its way toward Albany. And so that's going to be the back edge. What's in the Berkshires right now will be the end of the storms for us. So here's a look at the timeline. By 8 o'clock, we're still tracking them. 95 corridor, Boston down toward Providence. I think most of the Cape, the islands in the south coast, is dry. We might get a passing shower late this evening, but that would be about it. And then we clear out overnight. Not just clear out. But cool off. Look at the temps tomorrow morning. 40s to mid 50s out the door. It is going to be a cool and crisp and unusually dry air mass that greets us for our Wednesday. Lots of sunshine, though. The sun rises at 510. We warm up to around 70 by lunchtime. Some uh, puffy clouds will bubble up. It'll be breezy and comfortable. And then as we look toward the evening, a slight chance of a shower across the higher elevations. I think most towns will stay dry. A really comfortable day. Not much more to say about that. Then we head into Thursday. The next system approaches. Active weather pattern for us. There'll be some scattered clouds around, but it looks like most of the day is dry. Our best chance of storms will be Thursday night. Looks like from sunset onward. Then on Friday, a muggy day, very warm, and some more scattered storms are going to pop up. So each day carries with it a chance for some rainfall. So the Cape and the islands were in the 70s all the way through. It gets increasingly muggy as we head toward Thursday and Friday. And because it's active, the pollen counts are on the lower side. So a bit of good news, even with some of these storms to dodge. So here's the seven-day outlook this weekend. Chance for a few isolated storms on Saturday. Very warm into the low 90s, and it will be humid. A better chance of thunderstorms on Sunday, 4th of July. Looking good, seven days out. David and Lisa, back to you. Outstanding, Eric. Thank you.